Carolina, the first Presbyterian church has called downtown Tampa home since the 19th century, the 1880s. Uh, soon it will be gone, making way for more apartments in what's now a booming area of Tampa Bay. The church is moving forward with a multi-million dollar sale. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow explains why this is a trend that we are seeing much more often in our city. The face of Tampa is changing and so is the nature of spirituality. In downtown communities, it's changing because for a long time, people didn't live in downtown. But just take a look at all the houses and apartments going up and it's obvious that's no longer the case. And with so much development coming in, someone is bound to be bought out. We voted last May to sell our property and in July we signed a contract with a potential buyer. Fitz Connor is pastor of the historic First Presbyterian Church in downtown Tampa. His church is in talks with a developer who's willing to give millions for this prime downtown real estate. There are 13 teams of people, total about 70 people working in every possible way to ask all the questions. What's our interim home? It's not clear where the church would go if the deal goes through, but what is clear, more and more churches are giving up their historic spaces in the city. It's the second large church to, in a sense, abandon or, or, or depart from downtown. St. Paul AME uh, was the first a few years ago. Historian Rodney Kite Powell also says we're seeing more spaces that were spiritual in nature be more financial in nature. Take the sanctuary lofts in Tampa Heights, for example. The century-old former church is now home to hip apartment living. There was an exodus from the cities and now there's people moving in. There's an opportunity to reach people um, through the message of Christ, which is about love. There's still uh, a deep thirst and hunger for it, but I think the expression of it looks different sometimes than just a Sunday morning in a building that's been around for a long time. Sometimes when you have so much growth, you can lose some of those historic yep. properties in a church like that. Now, the sale of First Presbyterian is not done just yet. The pastor said his church is expecting a non-refundable deposit from the buyer this month. And there are still some details to work out before a move does officially take place.